Hi everybody, I'm Beth and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quick tutorial on how to use your scrapbook paper to make some coasters and trivets. And this little project is part of my bigger project, my bigger kilopad project from started, that I started in June using the die cuts with a view fall and Halloween stack. And I loved this, there was some paper that was just full of pumpkins with gourds kind of peppered in between. And I love pumpkins, it's my favorite part of fall. So I thought these would be great coasters and decided to also try a trivet because I actually need a new, new, some new trivets for my kitchen anyway. But this is a very quick and easy project and very inexpensive to make. I'm starting with some ceramic tiles. I got these at Lowe's, but you could pick them up at any local hardware store. The coaster size is four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches. And the trivet is six by six inches. And I think, I think even the larger tiles were only like 30 cents and the smaller ones were closer to 15 or 20. So again, very inexpensive if you wanted to make these for Christmas or birthday gifts. And then I cut my paper down. The coaster is four by four and the trivet I did at five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. I have already come in and used some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. I just put a little bit of alcohol on the paper towel and then wiped across both of my tiles and that just wipes off any dust or dirt or residue that might be on the tiles from you know manufacturing, storage, shipment, any of that. So it just cleans it off really well so that your paper will adhere to it. Today I am using Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe Gloss and this is supposed to be help it be more waterproof. And I know that um, this is the same Mod Podge that they use like if you're, you're adding glitter to glassware. Um, so I don't know if you would really want to put it in the dishwasher, but it is supposed to help it be a little more water resistant. Um, if you have used this in the past, I'd love to know your experience. This is the first time that I'm using it, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. I have my foam brush to put the Mod Podge on with. I have my wax paper that I'm working on to protect my surface. And I have my trusty little Mod Podge scraper that I use to help smooth out any of the air bubbles. So I'm going to start with the coaster. And you want to apply, this stuff goes on pretty thick. So I'm just going to apply a smooth, even coat to the top of my coaster. And because the, the tile is smooth, the glue tends to stay wet for a while. So you have a little bit of time. And I'm also going to put an even coat across the back side of my paper. Sure I've gotten all the corners. I'm going to try to get this centered as best I can. Push it down and smooth it out from the center out. I'm also going to go from the center out using my scraper and this just gets any of the pools of glue or air bubbles that might be in there. And then I'm scraping it across my palm just to get any glue that might be pushing out at the edges so I'm not scraping it across my paper. You could do this with your fingers um, or if you have any other rubber softer type tool, you just wanna make sure you're using a light but firm pressure because if you go too hard, you can tear your paper. And I like to work from the center out just so that you're always pushing outwards and you're not gonna create a pool in the middle. So 
And then at the end, I will kind of just go across the whole thing just to make sure I'm getting the edges down. That feels good. And we're gonna come and do the same thing with our coaster or with our trivet. Put a coat on the tile. Go a little bit thicker on this one just because it gives me a little extra time to cover the paper. center before I put it all the way down. Try not to get my head in front of the camera. And for some reason I have a hard time getting this centered today. trick is you want to get it as centered as possible before you press it down because otherwise it's harder to move it. Alright, that's as good as this one's going to get. Smooth it out with my hands, push it down. a fly buzzing around my head and that is driving me crazy. Oh, see, just to show you, teaching you how to troubleshoot as well because it took me so long to get the paper centered it started to dry on me. So I'm going to come back in, add a little bit more on here, probably on these corners as well. Try this again. Like I said, these would make great gifts, inexpensive gifts. You could do them for any occasion you could use Christmas paper, just everyday paper. And I, they would also make great craft show items. And you can bundle them up like in sets of two or four, the coasters, and package them in many different ways. You could find a box for them, put them in a basket, wrap them in clear cellophane, or you could just simply tie a ribbon or some twine around them. All right, I haven't quite decided how I will package mine yet. I made, have enough of the paper that I made three sets of coasters and two trivets. And so I'm going to keep one of the trivets and then one set of coasters for myself. And then the other two sets of coasters and the other trivet will either go as a craft show item or as a gift. I haven't decided yet. Okay, I think I have finally gotten that down enough that's smooth. So I'm going to come back to my coaster, make sure there are no air bubbles, and that one looks really good. 
and I'm going to, now that I've glued it on, I'm going to put another coat of Mod Podge to help seal the paper on. And then this is what also helps waterproof it. And ideally you wanna apply two to three coats over the top, um, but you have to wait an hour or two in between so that it can dry and cure. So I will put this coat on now, come back in a little while, put another coat on, and then come back a little while later and do a final coat. So other than your dry time, it's a pretty quick process. And it would be, and they're pretty inexpensive to make as well. The coasters are, the coasters and the tiles are, you know, under 30 cents each, and then your paper is fairly inexpensive. Okay, so these are two that I have done earlier, and I have let them sit long enough to dry. They have a couple coats of Mod Podge across the top. What I'm going to do next is I have cut some felt down that I'm going to put on the back with hot glue and that just keeps it from sliding around and it also protects the your work surface because there are some like rough, jagged, sharp edges on here. And I'm not going to hot glue it on camera just because I'm not in a good spot to be able to plug my hot glue gun in. But basically you would just hot, put your hot glue down on your tile and then place your felt on and smooth it out. The, the felt for the trivet is about five and three quarters by five and three quarters. I just cut a rough square. And then I will do the same thing for my coaster. Just put the hot glue on and then put my felt down. And the felt that I cut for the coaster is, looks like it's just a little bit over four by four inches. So let that dry. And then there is one final step that I'm going to do. I have some Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. And this is supposed to give it a nice, clear, smooth coat, but also it's supposed to keep it from turning yellow. Like if the Mod Podge, when you apply a little bit of moisture to it, sometimes it can turn yellow. And it's also supposed to help prevent sticking. So if you have a coffee cup, you know, sometimes you set it down on a coaster, you lift up the coffee cup and the coaster will come with it. Um, so this is supposed to help prevent some of that sticking as well. So I will probably take all the coasters and trivets out into the barn. You just want a well ventilated area, just like any spray. And it says it dries fairly fast, that it dries to the touch in five minutes, dries to handle in 20 minutes, and then can be fully dry in 24 hours. And then you're just supposed to apply clear coats, two to three clear coats, just a few minutes apart. And then your coasters and trivets are done. So I have not done these before, so I'm excited to see how these turn out. I'm excited to be able to use them. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you guys have any experience with either the Mod Podge, the Glaze, or just the coaster making in general, I would love to hear your experience. If you have any tips or tricks for me so that I can use them in the future, I would love to hear that from you guys. And I hope I've given you another good way to use up that scrapbook paper because um, it's for more than just card making and scrapbooking. You can make all kinds of functional things, decorations for your home. So if you thought this was a good idea, if you liked the video, enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And like I said, if you have any questions or tips please leave me that in the comments and be sure to subscribe because if, even though I've made a lot of big projects with this pad already, I still feel like I have a lot more to do. So a lot of paper left. So there will definitely be more to share in the coming days and weeks. But thanks guys and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.